Trimod is a new startup biotech company that we fund, founded in 2011 and received funding of 750,000 in October of last year. And we are based on technology that comes out of Trinity College Dublin, in particular Professor Kingston Mills Lab, who co-founded a company with me. Uh, his uh, technology, he's a very renowned, well-renowned uh, immunologist of uh, international repute and Kingston has done extensive work in understanding the immune system and initially how it responds to pathogens, these are you know, chronic diseases, but there's a lot of uh, overlap between uh, chronic infections, let's say, and tumours, because tumours, once they are developed, they actually hide themselves from the immune system to protect themselves and obviously survive. So Kingston has uh, developed mechanisms to, I guess, avert that, to understand how the tumour interacts with the immune system and weaken the tumour and uh, enhance the immune system so it goes, targets the tumour and then eradicates the tumour. So he's got very good uh, preclinical data that he published uh, last December. So we're springboarding from this uh, Trinity College technology. We founded a company and we plan to take it through further preclinical development and then into the clinic uh, within the next two years or so. Cancer research, yes, yeah, it's, it's cancer vaccine is what people talk about now, it's a therapeutic vaccine, it's not like uh, an MMR vaccine that's prophylactic, it's actually the tumour uh, will, will have already been in existence, so it's stimulating the immune system then to target the tumour, to go after the tumour, so it's a vaccine to, kind of, you know, as I say, move the direction of the, the immune system to target and eradicate the tumour, so that's the uh, cancer vaccine approach, and it's a combination of two individual uh, molecules that one suppresses that uh, immune, uh, or the, the tumour. Uh, when the tumour suppresses the, the tumour, we kind of suppress that suppression, so essentially kind of decloaking uh, the tumour, we like to describe it. And then the second molecule enhances the immune system uh, generally. So we'll have an enhanced immune system, and then the tumour will be uh, exposed. It's probably worth pointing out that, you know, certainly for, uh, for development of therapeutics, of cancer therapeutics, it uh, takes quite a while. There's a number of clinical trials that, that we have to go through. But I think what I'm kind of most excited about is the, uh, the, the broad potential of this particular approach. Uh, essentially, you're not targeting one tumour type. There's a potential to stimulate the immune system to, to target melanoma, for example. And for targeting lung cancer, it depends on how you, you know, flip the switch, let's say, of the immune system. And Kingston and his, his lab colleagues have developed uh, very good data in melanoma, in lung cancer and colorectal cancer. And we're going to go broader to see how far we can kind of stretch the, uh, the technology and see which... Uh, which uh, cancers would be more you know, susceptible, let's say, to the, the technology once it's developed. So we're a number of years actually from the market, but our, our plan is to do the, the necessary innovation to kind of get us as far as clinical development and then likely partner with, uh, with, with a large pharma company who have much deeper pockets than us. But uh, after raising the seed capital money last year, we're, we're very, very pleased with that, but we recognise that Come this time next year, so middle of uh, 2013, we'll be striking out to raise uh, upwards of 7.5 million euros to fund these initial clinical trials. It's always kind of a stepwise process where we achieve our initial goals, we develop to a certain, sta a certain stage, we kind of de-risk the programme, let's say, and get, uh, get some of the larger kind of biotech companies interested in the technology and then collaborate with them so we both move it forward together. So we see, as I say, we started small. We're a, a Trinity campus company. We're based in Kingston's lab in Trinity. Again, primarily to be close to Kingston's expertise and to, to utilise the, the, the kind of equipment, the expensive equipment that, that's in uh, Trinity College. So we are trying to minimise our overhead so that we focus in on the research itself and you know, develop a better understanding and, and move that forward. Towards the end of last year, we hired uh, two scientists um, to, to uh, come in and execute this preclinical plan who are doing a fantastic job. They're outstanding scientists. But the plan for the future is to, to grow the company. As I say, we're starting small, we're laying the groundwork, but we uh, obviously next year when we have additional funding to move it through into the clinic, we'll be hiring additional people. But we've done a really nice job to keep our overheads uh, you know, quite low in this kind of initial six or eight month phase of the company. But uh, the key aspect will be um, you know, next year where we will need to raise significant Series A funding. It's typically the, this, the biotech industry kind of relies a lot on venture capitalists. And it's been, uh, it's been very heartening that the Irish government has been investing in both indigenous Irish uh, venture capital companies like you know, Fountain Healthcare and Soroba, as well as international venture capitalists such as Polaris and, uh, and Safanova. Polaris and Safanova are globally recognised, very uh, tier A biotechnology investors. So we're hoping to, to, to attract investors from such uh, you know, top tier investors. And uh, you know, Trimod in particular, I'm, I'm based in Polaris's Dogpatch Labs in Barrow Street. And that's where uh, we have a great working environment 
uh, you know, essentially free office space to do what we need to do to, to drive the company forward. But essentially it's raising the funds next year to fund these initial clinical trials is what we'll be uh, very much focused on between now and next summer. So that's the, the, the near term strategy of the company. And then of course long term strategy is to execute the clinical trials, you know, select the, the, the optimal um, therapeutic or cancer indication, which particular cancer disease we'll pursue. We'll pursue and then uh, drive forward through the clinic and uh, hopefully have a, a product in the market uh, you know, in years to come. And our plan in the long term is to run these initial clinical trials here in Ireland. I think there's an outstanding clinical trial infrastructure here in Ireland. So we're hoping to kind of leverage as best we can the, uh, the Irish, the Ireland uh, oncology infrastructure. And again, we see this as a very exciting technology that could really shift, I think, the, uh, the, the potential of cancer therapeutics, cancer treatments in, in patients uh, further down the line. So we're looking to do what we can in Ireland you know, with Irish resources and then move it forward or, you know, internationally beyond that. Thank you.